Yoruba Religion Religion of the Yoruba People of Africa, West African Orissa The Yoruba Religion, Yoruba, Isase, West African Orissa, Orissa, or Isase, Isase, comprises the traditional religious and spiritual concepts and practice of the Yoruba people. Its homeland is in present-day southwestern Nigeria, which comprises the majority of Oyo, Ogun, Osun, Ondo, Ikidi, Kwera and Lagos states, as well as parts of Kogi state and the adjoining parts of Benin and Togo, commonly known as Yorubaland, Yoruba, Ilkara Ujir. It shares some parallels with the Vodun practiced by the neighboring Fon and Yu peoples to the west and with the religion of the Edo people to the east. Yoruba religion is the basis for a number of religions in the New World, notably Santeria, Umbanda, Trinidad Orisha, and Candomblé. Yoruba religious beliefs are part of Itan, history, the total complex of songs, histories, stories, and other cultural concepts which make up the Yoruba society. Term This religion also extends to Okun, Yagba, Yoruba people of Kogi state, as it is practice among them. The Yoruba name for the Yoruba indigenous religion is Isese, which also refers to the traditions and rituals that encompass Yoruba culture. The term comes from a contraction of the words, eyes, meaning, source, root origin, and eyes, meaning, practice, tradition, coming together to mean, the original tradition, the tradition of antiquity, as many of the practices, beliefs, traditions, and observances of the Yoruba originate from the religious worship of Elodomer and the veneration of the Orissa. Beliefs According to Kola Abambola, the Yorubas have evolved a robust cosmology. Nigerian professor for traditional African religions, Jacob K. Alapona, summarizes that central for the Yoruba religion, and which all beings possess, is known as, ace, which is, the empowered word that must come to pass, the, life force, and, energy, that regulates all movement and activity in the universe. Every thought and action of each person or being in IA, the physical realm, interact with the supreme force, all other living things, including the earth itself, as well as with Orin, the other world, in which gods, spirits and ancestors exist. The Yoruba religion can be described as a complex form of polytheism, with a supreme but distant creator force, encompassing the whole universe. The anthropologist Robert Vokes described Yoruba religion as being animistic, noting that it was firmly attached to place. Each person living on earth attempts to achieve perfection and find their destiny in Orin Riri, the spiritual realm of those who do good and beneficial things. One's Ori Inu, spiritual consciousness in the physical realm, must grow in order to consummate union with one's Iponri, Ori Orin, spiritual self. Iwa Pele, or well-balanced, meditative recitation and sincere veneration is sufficient to strengthen the Ori Inu of most people. Well-balanced people, it is believed, are able to make positive use of the simplest form of connection between their Ori and the omnipotent Olu Orin, in a wooer, petition or prayer, for divine support. In the Yoruba belief system, Elodomer has ace over all that is. Hence, it is considered supreme. Cosmology Elodomer, Orishas, Ancestors, Human, Animal, Plant, etc. Elodomer is the most important state of existence. They are the owner of all heads, for during human creation, Elodomer gave Emi, the breath of life, to humankind. In this, Elodomer is supreme. Check quotation syntax, perhaps one of the most important human endeavors extolled within the Yoruba literary corpus is the quest to improve one's, Iwa, character, behavior. In this way the teachings transcend religious doctrine, advising as they do that a person must also improve their civic, social and intellectual spheres of being. Every stanza of the sacred Ifa oracular poetry, Odu Ifa, has a portion covering the importance of Iwa. Central to this is the theme of righteousness, both individual and collective. Adherents of the Yoruba religion regard Elodomer as the principal force of creation. According to one of the Yoruba accounts of creation, at a certain stage in the process, the truth was sent to confirm the habitability of the planets that were newly formed. The earth, being one of these, was visited but considered too wet for conventional living. After a successful period of time, a number of divinities led by Obatala were sent to accomplish the task of helping Earth develop its crust. On one of their visits to the realm, 
the arch-divinity Obatala took to the stage equipped with a mollusk that concealed some form of soil, winged beasts, and some cloth-like material. The contents were emptied onto what soon became a large mound on the surface of the water and soon after, the winged beasts began to scatter this around until the point where it gradually made into a large patch of dry land, the various indentations they created eventually becoming hills and valleys. Obatala leapt onto a high ground and named the place If. The land became fertile and plant life began to flourish. From handfuls of earth he began to mold figurines. Meanwhile, as this was happening on earth, Elodomir gathered the gases from the far reaches of space and sparked an explosion that shaped into a fireball. He subsequently, citation needed, sent it to If, where it dried much of the land and simultaneously began to bake the motionless figurines. It was at this point that Elodomir released the breath of life to blow across the land, and the figurines slowly came into being as the first people of Ife. For this reason, Ife is locally referred to as Ifude, Cradle of Existence. Orisha Practice Yoruba religion is a blend and combination various practice of indigenous beliefs, myths and legends, proverbs, and songs, all influenced by the cultural and social contexts. Traditional Yoruba beliefs hold that all people experience Ayanmo, which is destiny or fate. As a part of this, there is an expectation that everyone will eventually achieve the state of Elodomer, which is becoming one with the divine creator who is the source of all energy in the Yoruba religion belief system. This list below emphasized on the name of various Orisha religion name. Orisha Pantheon The Orisha, Yoruba, Orisa, are entities that possess the capability of reflecting some of the manifestations of Elodomer. Yoruba Orishas, commonly translated, unique, special, selected heads, are often described as intermediaries between humankind and the supernatural. The term has also been variously translated as deities, divinities, or gods. The Yoruba have developed a robust pantheon of divinities, each well developed in their different rites and traditions. Many of these have attained national, pan Yoruba statuses and are known all across Yoruba country, even when they are more strongly or closely associated with certain places, occupations, or locations spread across Yoruba land. There are said to be 400 plus one of them in total, the 200 of the right, Igba Oten, the 200 of the left, Igba O.C., and one more. Orishas are revered for having control over specific elements of nature. They are thus also referred to as Amoli. There are those of their number that are more akin to ancient heroes and or sages than to primordial divinities. These are best addressed as Dima deities. Even though the term Orisha is often used to describe both classes of divine entities, it is properly reserved for the former one. Major Orisha Description and Attributes The Iron Male, from the words, Iron meaning, origin, and I male meaning, primal divinity, are the original entities sent by Olorun to complete given tasks, often acting as liaisons between Odorin, the invisible realm, and Ilaeye, the physical realm. Iron males can therefore best be described in English as the highest ranking divinities, whereby such divinities are regarded as principal orishas. The iron male or I male are the primary foundational divinities or divine entities. In summary, all I male are also orisha, but not all orisha are I male. The Yoruba believe in Atunwa, the possibility of reincarnation within the family. The names Babatundi, father returns, Yatunde, mother returns, Babatunji, father wakes once again, and Sotunde, the wise man returns, all offer vivid evidence of the Ifa concept of familial or lineal rebirth. There is no simple guarantee that one's grandfather or great uncle will come back in the birth of a child, however. Whenever the time arrives for a spirit to return to earth, otherwise known as the marketplace, through the conception of a new life in the direct bloodline of the family, one of the component entities of a person's being returns, while the other remains in heaven, Ikole Oren. The spirit that returns does so in the form of a guardian ori. One's guardian ori, which is represented and contained in the crown of the head, represents not only the spirit and energy of one's previous blood relative, but the accumulated wisdom he or she has acquired through myriad lifetimes. This is not to be confused with one's spiritual ori, which contains personal destiny, but instead refers to the coming back to the marketplace of one's personal blood ori through one's new life and experiences. The primary ancestor, which should be identified in your itefa, becomes, if you are aware and work with that specific energy, a guide for the individual throughout their lifetime. At the end of that life they return to their identical spirit self and merge into one, 
taking the additional knowledge gained from their experience with the individual as a form of payment. Citation needed. Influence. According to Professor Adams Abdullahi Subaru, the Yoruba were exquisite statesmen who spread across the globe in an unprecedented fashion, the reach of their culture is largely due to migration, the most recent migration occurred with the Atlantic slave trade, and with Nigerian and Beninois Yoruba emigrating to the United States, the UK, Brazil, and other countries of the Americas and Europe. During the pre-colonial period, many Yoruba were captured and sold into the slave trade and transported to Argentina, Brazil, Cuba, Colombia, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Trinidad and Tobago, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Uruguay, Venezuela, and other parts of the Americas. With them, they carried their religious beliefs. The school of thought integrated into what now constitutes the core of the New World lineages, which are a variety of Yoruba-derived contemporary African religions. Candomblé, Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay. Santeria, Cuba, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. Trinidad Orisha, Trinidad and Tobago. Venezuelan Spiritism, Venezuela. Spiritual Baptist, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Umbanda, Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay. The Vodun faith, which originated amongst a different ethnic group, the GBE-speaking peoples of present-day Benin, Togo, and Ghana, holds influential aspects on the African diaspora in countries such as Haiti and Cuba, also New Orleans, Louisiana in the United States. In Latin America, Yoruba religion has been in intense syncretism with Christianity, indigenous religions and spiritism since the first arrival of African immigrants. In Brazil, the religion of Umbanda was born from the rich interaction of beliefs that Latin America provided. Followers of Umbanda typically consider themselves monotheistic, but honor Catholic saints and Orisha as manifestations from God or as tutelary deities. Umbanda worship also include elements from native South American rituals such as the ritual use of tobacco and communication with the spirits of deceased Indian warriors, Kaboko. Citation needed. In the 1949 documentary Fiestas de Santiago Apostol and Loiza Aldea, anthropologist Ricardo Alegria noted a similar tendency at Loiza, Puerto Rico, arguing that the affinity between the black population in the municipality and the Catholic Saint Santiago Apostol may derive from the way in which he is depicted as a warrior, a similar theme to some depictions of Shango and Adams. This theory supposed that this resemblance was used by the population as a covert form to honor their ancestral deity. Citation needed. Koshikawa Yoshiaki, Ya, professor of literature at Meiji University, became the first Japanese person to be initiated as a Babalawo in 2013.